Tracking H1N1 now. There are four confirmed cases of the swine flu at a Toledo charter school. Winterfield Venture Academy says two teachers and two students have been diagnosed with the virus. All are at home resting. The school is conducting special cleanings of classrooms and common areas each night. School is open as usual. They're asking parents to keep kids at home if they get sick to prevent the spread of the flu. The Wood County Health Department, meantime, says they have received 660 doses of the swine flu vaccine, all are the nasal mist variety. The vaccines will go to health care personnel and emergency responders. They will be given out for free to those people during three vaccine clinics scheduled for Thursday and Friday of this week, another set for Monday. Meantime, Lucas County is getting ready for its own swine flu vaccines. County residents are being encouraged to pre-register for upcoming clinics. The health department says that will make the process quicker and allow them to notify you when the vaccines are available. However, not registering won't keep you from getting one, so don't worry about that. Like Wood County, the first doses in Lucas County will go to health care workers, and those vaccinations will start tomorrow. For more information about how you can get registered, just head to foxtoledo.com. And we at Fox Toledo want to make sure you have the information you need about the H1N1 virus. That is why Tuesday, October 20th, Fox Toledo and the University of Toledo will prevent swine flu facts and myths, the truth about H1N1. It will be a live, hour-long broadcast. A panel of UTMC doctors will be on hand to answer questions about the virus. And if you still have something you would like to hear answered, you can send us a message via Twitter, Facebook, or email and we can ask our experts live during the show.